let's look and see which, which certification she will get first, and then we'll answer the questions. So I went through and counted to get certification for D, she needs three courses. That's why you see a three down here at the bottom. And then C, you need one, you need one two, three, four, and four for B, and five for A. So the one with it that requires the least amount of courses is I mean, the certification would be D, and that would be course one, six, and seven. That's gonna be the first one. Now let's look at B. B needs one, two. She's already had already done one, so she needs two. Okay, one, two, and then she needs four and six, but she's already taken six because of certification D. All right, now let's look at certif let's look at certification C. That one also requires four. Okay, that requires one, which she's already had, three, not had five, not had, eight, not had. So your second second certification is going to be B because it takes less work, okay? All right, for C, she still likes three, five, and eight. And then, let me see. Um, let's look at A. All right, so... Let's cross out C because she's not certified in C. She only certified in D and B. So for A, she needs one and two, but she's already done that. And she needs five and seven. She's already done seven, but she needs five. And she also needs, she's done seven, but she needs nine. So two more. So this is what she's going to do third because it takes less certifications, than less courses than what C did. So, if you look at the questions, Marina will receive certification A first. Well, that's no, she's going to get D first. And then Marina will receive certification B second. Yes, that's true. Marina will receive certification C third. No, she's going to do A because A only requires two courses and C requires three courses.